Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or control break events and in the previous video we took the requirement and we start developing the program for the same. We took the input in the program for the payment mode. We created the structure type. We declared the internal table and work areas. Now, firstly, we will fetch data from order header table. So whenever we want to fetch data, we will write a query for the same. We will write open SQL query. Select is the keyword. We want to fetch the data of how many column? Two column. What is first column? Payment mode. What is second column? Total amount. From which table? I will mention the name of order header table. We will store into internal table. Into table, internal table. What is our internal table? LT underscore data. Now we will pass the where condition. What is the where condition? Payment mode. In, we all know very, very well, whenever we have a select option, we need to use in in the where condition. And we all know input is always on the right hand side. So whatever the payment mode you will pass, it will go to PM column of this particular table. It will fetch the data of these two columns and data will come into this internal table. I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. Now, we will start with now the real implementation will start because now we will start using the control break statements or control break events. Now, whenever you want to apply control break statements or control break events, we discussed we have two most important prerequisites. Firstly, we should always, always apply inside a loop, inside a loop. So firstly, I will apply loop. I will write a loop statement. Loop add. What is my internal table? LT underscore data. Into. What is the name of work area? LWA underscore data. And for every loop, there is a end loop. Now, what is the second most, most important prerequisite? Your internal table should be in the sorted order, sorted order. Now, just relate it to your requirement. We want sum of total amount based upon payment mode, payment mode. So it means we will sort this internal table. We will sort this internal table based upon payment mode. And in the next video, we will put so much stress. If you will not sort how the wrong output will be there. So firstly, I will apply the sort statement. Sort. Sort. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore data. Whenever we want to sort, we need to pass the column name. Yes, by using which keyword? By. And we need to sort based upon which column? Payment mode. So I passed PM. If I will not specify anything ascending or descending, it will sort in by default which order? Ascending order. I will check the syntax and I will activate it. So we fulfilled both the prerequisites. We have a loop now and we sort the internal table. Now, inside this loop, we will apply all the control break statements or events. So firstly, I will show you the sample output and based upon that, we will start applying the control break statements or events. 
if I will run that sample program, which we developed. Now, what you want in the output? You want this information. The collection of payment mode is as follows. And yes, it is at the top of our output, of our output data. This is coming first. After that, this data is coming. After that, the sum of the amount is coming based upon payment mode. So firstly, this message is coming. This message is coming. Now we will start with our first control break statement or event. Our first control break statement or event is at first, at first. What is at first? It triggers for the first record or first iteration or first row of the internal table. This information, this information you want at first. See, in this output, this information is at the first level, first level. So, and this information is at the first, at the first. So, what I will do, I will display this information as a part of which particular control break event at first. So, whenever first record will come in the internal table, Whenever loop will continue for the first record of the internal table, add first will trigger, it will display this particular message and after that it will never never trigger. You all know very very well event always always trigger by a action or they will trigger at some specific time. Add first at first will trigger for the first record of the internal table. So whenever first record will come, at first will trigger and it will display this particular message. After that, it will not trigger at all. And we do know we and we are not even required after that. So this particular information we will display through which particular control break statement at first. And you all know very, very well, we already covered for control break statements or event. We will not do any action. They will trigger automatically when the time has been reached. So I am writing at first. So whenever first record for the internal table will come, Whenever loop will continue for the first record of the internal table, which event will trigger at first and it will trigger automatically without our action. So for every at, there is a end at. We all know very, very well. So in between this at and end at, I will simply, simply display a message using write statement. Suppose I am writing write the sum based upon payment mode is as follows. Now, we should never, never hard code in one language. We should always, always use text symbol. Suppose I am writing text hyphen 000 and we will create from here itself. If you want to create from here, go to text element text symbol. It is your wish, but you can go to text symbol from here itself. I will simply do control X. I will double click. Yes, we will create. 000. If we know some best practice, we should always, always follow that practice. We will activate. 
So this information we displayed using which particular control break statement or event at first. Now I will come on to next. Now this information end of collection is at the last of the output at the last of the output. So firstly, this information will come through at first. Now we are after that we are displaying the we are displaying the data. We are displaying the total based upon payment mode. Then we are displaying some information at the last at the last. And you all know very, very well, we have a event at last, at last. But what time this event will trigger? This event triggers for the last record of the internal table. And yes, this information we want at the last. So whenever last record or last iteration or last row of the internal table will come, yes, we want, we will display this particular message. So I will write this logic as a part of at last. Now I will write at last. For every control break statement, yes, ends with end. Now I will display a message, right? Suppose I will write end of output. Now I will use text symbol. So I will write text hyphen zero zero one. I will just cut this and we will paste from here itself we can create or you can go for go from go to also it's your wish now i will take it so what is the summary of the video up to this level yes in this particular video, we fetched data from order header table based upon the payment mode. We sorted the internal table based upon payment mode because that is most, most important prerequisite. We put a loop on the internal table and inside the loop, we applied two control break statements or events as of now at first and at last at first will trigger for the first record of the internal table and it will display this particular message the sum based upon payment mode is as follows and this at last will trigger for the last record of the internal table and it will display the message at the last that end of output. Now in the next video, we will apply rest to control break statements or event that is at new field name and at end of field name. And next video is extremely important because we will learn so many things in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.